Welcome back to Rainy Day Podcast with your hosts, River and... Nico. <laughs> Who's currently having a mental breakdown. Yeah, just a little bit. This is our fourth time recording this because we can't get it right and I'm literally gonna cry. Two times were because of profanity, basically. Third time was just uh, bad Wi-Fi and this is our fourth time. So, Yay! Today's my... Uh, yeah. mm. <laughs> so today's a special episode because it's about... Just mythology, and it's Persephone and Hades! Yay. Yay! And we are both sharing this episode. Because we both like Persephone and Hades, and I don't want to leave River out. Exactly. Okay, <laughs> and... Can I, can I start before I start crying? Of course. Okay, so apparently, as the myth goes, Hades fell for Persephone. I knew that part. I did not know that he decided to kidnap her. Indeed. Because, you know, that's what you do when you fall in love with someone. You, you kidnap you them. You kidnap them. It makes, it makes perfect sense. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, anyways, we in the first recording, we had a conversation about um, what we imagine kidnapping to be, and um, yeah, we're just going to move on for that. Yeah. <laughs> Hades intended to kidnap Persephone while she was gathering flowers, and Hades had previously told his brother Zeus that he was in love with Persephone after seeing her once. Exactly. Once. Uh-huh. No! <laughs> Okay, um, uh, so Hayes and Zeus, you know, as brothers do, came up with a, a plan to capture Persephone, you know? Um, yeah. The, why? Why? Okay, anyways. Indeed. If I can read properly, that would be nice, because I'm currently not reading my notes properly, so... That is not nice. <laughs> yeah, it's not, because I'd like to read them properly, but it's not working, and the words are not processing in my brain. It's been a great... It's... Oh, my God. <laughs> We're gonna get through this episode. No, wait. Just for a second. I have to read this bullet point. Yeah. Okay, yeah, they came up with a plan to capture Persephone by uh, making the ground split under her mm. and while well, she was with friends or something, and um, Hades intended to make her his wife, and he did eventually. We'll get there. Spoilers. Really, it's a spoiler. It's <laughs> mythology. Everybody <laughs> knows this. <laughs> It's Greek mythology at that. Everybody knows Greek mythology. At least some part of it. <laughs> pew, pew. Don't laugh at my pain. <laughs> I'm laughing. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't appreciate it. This is a chaotic episode. <laughs> it really is. <laughs> but anyways, according to the myth, Persephone was unhappy at first, but then eventually came to love Hades. You know, that kind of sounds like Stockholm Syndrome. However, we're not going to question it, because I don't feel like questioning it. Yeah, anyways. Uh, in another version of the myth, uh, Persephone, or Persephone's mother, oh god, I can read, oh my god, I'm going to cry, Yay. was present. She took pride in her flowers and garden while Persephone, and well, Persef while Persephone was playing with the water nymphs, she wanted to go and look at the flower Narcissus. That's how you say that, right? It's in your notes, Narcissus? too. Narcissus? Yeah. yeah, yeah. The the nymphs, the nymphs, oh my god. I'm gonna cry, I swear to god. We can always restart. No. <laughs> Couldn't follow her, because they had to stay by the water, because they were water nymphs. And, um, yeah, Zeus did that, actually. He made Gia. That, is that how you say that? Or G, G, How's it know. spelled? Put it in the chat. Um, 
I don't think I spelled it right in the notes. I'm going to type it in the chat and you're going to tell me if it's right. Wait. Okay. Wait, where's the chat? Wait, I have to find it. Yes. Um, yes. <laughs> oh. I think that's like Gaia or something. I don't know. It's that. Yeah, whatever River said. Yeah. Anyways, um, he asked her to plant them. Um, the narcissus, which was a yellow flower, fun fact. Yes. Uh oh, there's a little there's a little fruit fly on my computer. Oh my god. <laughs> well while Nico's computer is frozen, we will do a little uh little experience called terms we're gonna use in the th Oh wait, are you back? Yes, I'm back. Did you not hear? Uh, did you hear the part about the fruit fly that was on my computer that I named Jeffrey? No. <laughs> yeah, well, anyways, there's a fruit fly on my computer and I named it Jeffrey. Anyways, yeah, Zeus, um, why did you type in the chat? Uh, because that's what I told them I was gonna do. <laughs> no! <laughs> Jeffrey is their child now. <laughs> Yeah, Zeus um, uh, made the whoever plant the Narcissus so it would enchant, enchant Persephone and draw her away from the nymphs because she couldn't, cause the nymphs couldn't follow her because they needed to be by the water. Anyways, that was fun. Yeah, on to you, River, because that was all I had. Okay, on to me. So, Persephone. Why didn't you put a space between the little bullet points? That's making me sad. I'm gonna do that for you. No, don't, because then it's gonna mess up my vibes. No. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. <laughs> okay, so Persephone began picking flowers in our garden. Picking Narcissus. That's not pronounced right, to be exact. Picking the flower took an immense amount of energy, and Persephone grew tired. Persephone saw a tiny hole in the ground where she had picked the flower, and to her fright, saw that it began to grow and resemble a chasm. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, so I'm gonna put it in the chat. Okay? Okay. So at first, I didn't know what this is, but fun fact, it's a deep fissure in the earth, rock, or another surface. A chasm? Sure. I'm pretty sure that's how you say that, and if it's not, I'm just gonna cry about that, too. Because my internet just bleeped out, so I don't know what you were talking about. Anywho. However, yeah, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure that's what that says. So. Anywho, that's when a bunch of horses spilled out of the almost portal, and on one horse was Hades, the god of the underworld. Perso oh my god! <laughs> you mean god? That was an unintentional little pun there. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> Persephone froze with fear and confusion. Persephone's friend, a naiad named Cyan, uh, that's probably not pronounced right, but it's fine, tried to help protect and rescue Persephone, but was unable to. To Cyan's sadness, Cyan melted into tears, which now formed the river Cyan. It's probably not pronounced right. Demeter then returned to the spot where Persephone had been, but she did not see Persephone. And such she saw the river Cyan and a bunch of nymphs crying. Demeter asked where her daughter was, and since only Cyan had witnessed Persephone's kidnapping, the nymphs could not answer. With rage, Demeter turned the nymphs into sirens. Ooh. Oh, I didn't know that either. Wow, that's interesting. Fun times. I didn't read the whole article that you made me read. I only read the first half of it. Yeah, that's all you had to read. I know, but I should have read all of it because that would have been probably helpful, but I didn't because yeah. I was lazy. And I did my notes in like 10 minutes yesterday. Mm. Kind of disappointed about that, but it's fine. <laughs> the river sign then helped Demeter by washing Persephone's belt on shore, signaling something went wrong. Demeter searched for her daughter everywhere, disguised as an old woman. She searched the world for nine days and nine nights. Finally, Demeter met with... Oh, no. Oh, wait. What am I talking about? It's Hecate. Right? Yeah. 
Hectate? What are you what are you saying? Where are you? I have stopped paying attention. I will type it. Wow! I will type it in the chat. Did you say wow because I stopped paying attention? Yes, that is Hectate, but yeah, exactly. um it's spelled with a C. Not a K. That's how I, the article spelled it. Well the article was wrong because I'm like ninety percent sure it's spelled with a C. Great. It's fine. <laughs> So, Hectate was the deity of magic and witchcraft, spirits, and crossroads. Hec- <laughs> Sorry. Hectate told Demeter to find- Oh, no. Helios, right? Right? Maybe? Pretty sure. Yes, Helios. Oh my god, you are- You're doing worse than me. No, I pronounced all of them right. I'm just self-conscious with my pronunciation. The now, you gotta be confident and believe that you're saying what you're saying. Helios you know? told Demeter about how Persephone had been taken by Hades. Demeter begged Hades to give her her daughter back to wait to give her daughter back to her. He decided to consult with Zeus, and the men agreed that Persephone could be on Earth for six months of the year. Wow. I'm sorry. <laughs> wait. Uh, the Persephone could be on Earth for six months of the year. The rest of the year, she had to be with Hades in the underworld. Before leaving the underworld, Persephone ate four pomegranate seeds because she was persuaded to do so. If Why you... do you just have a random O? I have no clue. If okay. you eat... Oh, it's probably because I, a... I did a voice typing. <laughs> oh. Yeah. If you eat the food slash fruit yes. of your captor, then you have to return to them. So Persephone would then return to the underworld for four months of the year. But she could spend two-thirds of the year with her mother, Demeter. The myth of Persephone and Hades tells the story of the coming of spring and winter. When Persephone goes to Earth, it is now spring. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> But when Persephone has to leave to go to the underworld, it is now winter. And that is the oh end my of my notes. Yeah, that was a really short episode. I feel like that was only like 15 minutes. I don't know, because it was kind of chaotic and we still haven't done our plugs. That's true, but like, mm, still. I don't know. Anyways, yeah, that was that was our episode. Persephone and Hades, the power couple... I wouldn't say so, actually, because that's kind of... Well, there's probably a better couple out there, but Persephone and Hades are pretty cool. So. Anyways. Okay. Yeah. Well, going back to what we were saying before, let's plug our stuff. <laughs> Can I go first? Yeah. Okay, so our Facebook is Rainy Podcast. It has a page and a group. Um, you can find the page if you go into the group, and the group you can find because it's linked to the page. And yeah, it's Rainy Day Podcast. Um, that's that's fun. Our email, which I know still finally, um, is. A rainy day podcast at gmail.com. Email us. That's that'd be nice. It'd be great. Just say hi. Just, just email us. I want to see if somebody will actually email us. You know, and say send hi us recommendations for episodes. And, um, yeah. And yeah. now I will do my plugs. Our Instagram is rainy underscore day underscore podcast. Our website is rainy day podcast.webnode.com and lastly our new Spotify which we're kind of figuring out because Spotify's confusing. All you have to do is look up Rainy Day Podcast. So yay! Anyway, thank you guys for listening. Uh, pretty sure Nicole's f- Nico's frozen. But I'm gonna try to hold on till she's not frozen. Oh, Uh-oh. she's not frozen! Okay, I was just saying our goodbyes. Goodbye, everyone! Goodbye! Sorry about my bad internet connection today. I don't know what's happening. It's been doing this for a little bit. But, anyways, yes, goodbye. Bye!